Hi. <laughs> Good afternoon. Welcome to my kitchen. It's Karen's Kitchen once again. This week I've been uh, videoing from the conservatory and actually also from out in the garden when the weather was beautiful. But it's changed as it often does. One minute, one minute it's fantastic, the next minute it's as cold as ice. So I'm back into the kitchen and um, I, I was looking through my, um, my ingredients, what we've got in the house at the moment and thinking what can I do um, for the video that's cheerful. And also I wanted to use, I wanted to use this initially. I thought, well, I, I'll make a tagine. But then I thought, mm, maybe a tagine, it's a bit samey. I did a, a, I did a stew uh, a few days ago. So what I'm actually going to do, um, viewers, <laughs> hello viewers, is, um, is a tagine style soup. Now bear with me because I've never ever made this before. Not, not called it a tagine style soup. But I've got tagine ingredients and things. So let's give it a whirl. And I'm going to hopefully put it in this to serve it. I've had this quite a number of years. I think it's a beautiful thing. We bought it from a, a little pottery called the Rainbow Pottery in the middle of rural France, a little family concern. And um, everything they did, everything they did was this beautiful colour. Um, and I don't often get the chance to use it. It's too precious to break it. I'll move it to one side for now. So what have we got? I've prepared the tagine vegetables. So I have half, remember, substitute anything you fancy. If you don't like or you've got something else, it's absolutely fine. Um, I've got half a butternut squash. That's the other half still to be used. I have um, two small sweet potatoes. I have one chopped up red pepper. I've got two small red onions, but white's fine. I've got some fresh tomatoes, a couple of three just chopped up, and a couple of whole fat garlics. And also, twist a lemon. In tagine in Morocco, they quite often use preserved lemons. And these aren't preserved, these are fresh out of my fruit bowl, but I'm going to roast them with these vegetables. I won't put these actually in the soup, I'll discard them, but they should, having roasted with the vegetables, give that sort of authentic lemony flavour. So I watched Mary Berry do this on television this morning, so I'll copy it. So I've got a bag of Ziploc. And I'm going to put all these veg, they're already diced and chopped up. I didn't peel the sweet potatoes, just scrub those up a little bit under the tap. Just going to pop them in here. So, um, very summery. I just thought the colours and everything just remind you of a summer's day. Orange, red, yellow. All this goes in there. And um, just talk amongst yourselves <laughs> while I do this. What we need as well, of course, once they're all in the bag, um, we need the addition of some spices. Again, the spice mixes, it's entirely what you've got in at the moment. Nobody's running off to the shop, sorry, to get things special. So it's whatever you've got. Now I've got loads of dried spices. Um, so I actually made, originally when I was going to do the tagine, I made my own spice mix up. But I, um, I'm not doing that. I'm just gonna go with what I think probably a lot of people will have in their store cupboard spice wise. So that's all the vegetables into there with the lemon. I've got a tape, I'll come back. Let me put my glasses on a minute. I can see, all the better to see you with. This is the thing. These are the Bake Off glasses. I wore this, I wore this pair when Paul Hollywood said I looked like a cross between Sue Pollard and Dame Edna Everidge. Thanks, Paul Hollywood. <laughs> so anyway, add you in. I've got about a tablespoon of vegetable oil in there, into the bag. I'll salt and pepper it. And then, 
Let me see if I can remember. Yes. I've got some chilli flakes. I've only put half a teaspoon because these are quite pungent ones. Um, just use your own discretion. Um, what you like. Some people can stand the fire. Some people can't stand the fire. Um, this one is... That's cinnamon. That's a very Middle Eastern thing, is cinnamon. Um, so I thought most of us probably have that or nutmeg in the cupboard. So that's in. Then my fave, my all-time fave, is smoked paprika. I think I put a bit more, maybe two teaspoons in, and maybe a tablespoon of that. And finally, a bit of cumin. Um, I was thinking though, garam masala, if that's how you say it, that would probably do a cover all on this. And then, the very satisfying part of this is to give it a real good shape up. So this is obviously coating the, the contents with both the spices and the oil. There we go. So, I've got the oven on already to roast these. So, we're going to roast the veg. Then I'm going to make the liquidy part. Um, and then put it all together and see what happens. So, I've got them ready. I've got my big tray out of the oven. And I'm going to tip this lot. Wow. What do you think to that? Eh? We need to try to get one even layer, otherwise it will sort of steam the veg rather than roast them off. Um, and I'm going to put these in the... I might just... I'll tell you what I'm going to just do. I might just squeeze a lemon through that. I don't want to... I want to get the lemoniness. Right, and then I'm going to put them in the oven. And we're going to roast them for approximately 35-40 minutes. You'll know when they're done, when they're squashy, squidgy, smell beautiful. Um, and I'm going to come back to it um, to do a stage two. So get them in the oven, put a kettle on, put your feet up for a bit, and um, I'll see you So, Oh, just a minute, let's put it in the oven. What am I like? There we go. Beautiful. See you soon. I am back. The vegetables are cooked. The tagine soup vegetables are cooked, I think. What I forgot to mention before was I wanted to just drizzle some honey on, but at this point anyway, I didn't want to put it on to cook all the way through because it might catch and burn. And nothing that's burnt, good for you. That's what I say. Um, so just getting these out of the oven. And you can see, you can see, and I, where's that smelly vision when you want it? So I'm just going to pop that back there. I've got my honey, and I'm just going to drizzle. Probably the equivalent to about a tablespoon. And that is going to give the soup the sweetness then I'm just going to cook it off for a few minutes. That's going to give the soup the sweetness that you would normally get in a tagine from, say, apricots or dates or raisins, sultanas. Um, in the meantime, I've got this little gizmo idea. This is one flour tortilla. You know, your wraps, if you've got one of those left to use up. And um, I'm going to make some little crispy croutons to sort of sprinkle on top of the uh, soup. I've already made some, and honestly, like that. They're just, you could just eat them like you would crisp as you wanted to. So one, I'm just going to make some squares, or, well you can do whatever shape you like, to be honest. It doesn't matter one bit. But I'm just going to slice that I mean, one one tortilla wrap certainly goes a long, a long way. Now this is the best bit. Take your oven tray, 
I tried it first with oil, regular oil, but it cooked them too fast and it burnt them. So what I found was just by spray lighting the oven tray and putting a layer of those out, swizzle them about a bit so the underside gets into the oil. Then another. And then some sea, oh, me and the seasoning, I know. Well, some salt and pepper. And because we're doing the, what, the tagine Moroccan theme, actually this is Cajun, completely wrong part of the world, but I think that the spices are somewhat similar. So I'm just going to dust those over, give them a shake, and put those underneath the vegetables in the same heat. And to be honest, it doesn't take long for those um, to crisp up. They come out soft still, but when they've been out five minutes, they go lovely and crisp. And they stay good in an air airtight container. That's not true. Mm. Really great. So, in the meantime, I need to be getting the the liquidy bit of the soup ready. I'm not using the hob again because you wouldn't be able to see me, you just see me backside it, and that's not great. So, as it happens, I do have this electric wok. So, I've got some heat on that. Um, here I have 500 millilitres of vegetable stock, and it's just literally one of these, or you could use a cube with water and I'm popping that get all the bits out and I'm going to put in a squirt if you've got it again if you don't have these things it doesn't matter at the moment none of us are going out and buying things we don't need because we don't need to go to the shops very often as little as possible so I've got some you could put some, a tin of tomatoes in if you were um, lucky enough to have such a thing. So I'm just putting a tablespoon of that in. I'm just going to whack the heat up. And that's pretty much the soup. So I need a stirrer. I know my kitchen better than I know it myself before long. Um, so I'm just going to stir that around. And in a minute, I'm going to get those vegetables out. And I'm going to put about half of them into here. I'm saving the other half. I've decided that this is a soup that I don't want it to be completely liquidised. I'm going to have some lumps in it. So it's, it's your tagine but much more liquid. That's the idea of it. Um, so that's fine. I've also got the used chickpeas an awful lot in, um, in tagines. And it's an excellent source of protein. Um, uh, they're ready cooked, so they just need heating through, really. Did you know, I said this the other day when I used chickpeas, you can use the liquid that's in the tin instead of egg whites. It's called aquafaba. And you can use it to make um, meringues, for example, or royal icing. I mean, uh, what puzzles me is whoever discovered that. But it did work. We used to, we had to practice that on the on the Great British Bake Off. So I do know for a fact that it works. But how weird! But these days, you never know when you might need that tip. So, <laughs> so this is lovely now. This is getting some heat on it. So I'm going to get my mitts on. They're sooty and sweet. And. Um, Just pop those on there for a minute. Just checking my crispies. Just going to knock them about a bit. It won't be many minutes. This is a thing I'll probably forget. But uh, hopefully I won't. So just going to anoint them a bit more. Just to be sure. That's those. Right, so this is this is where I 
hope you can see me. So, about half of the mixture into the soup, not the lemons. I've squeezed a lot of those um, lemons down so that the, the taste will be there, hopefully. And I'm trying to still put the garlic because the vegetables that go in here are going to be put through the blender to thicken up and make your soup base. And the rest of them are going to be whole. So, there we go, I think that will do. Oh, no, there's a garlic. Lovely. Right, so I'm just going to put those to one side a minute. Just going to bring that up. Now, with these chickpeas, I'm going to put a few in there to get blended, okay? And I'm saving most of them to go in the soup proper. So I'll just pop the lid on that a second. And they're okay. And then I'm going to get the old blender going. Where's the washer wrapper? That's what I want to know when you need them. At least on the Bake Off, we used to have people coming around scooping up all, your, all the mess that you were making and um, clearing the decks a little bit. But not here. Here I am on my top. That's, that's coming up to the boil now, basically. And I'm going to pop all of that into the blender bzz, 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 and then return it to the pan, okay? So we'll do that now. No time like the present. I just hope my dangly bits don't get caught. So, can you see? Yes, you can. What I'll do with this is use a spoon rather than risk getting them all over the wood. Turn the heat down a lot on there. It doesn't matter if some of these stay in the bottom, it'll just go into the soup proper. So, I'll just move that there. And then buzz, buzz, buzz. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Oh, plugging it in. Bear with me. It's like camping. Okay, superb. So we'll get this lid off. Need danger money. There we go. Um, put this back on here. Ooh, well look, you see? You can see, can't you? It's great. Um, just swap my power back. Buzz, buzz, buzz. I'm looking at the... I'm like, it's like that, isn't it? Keeping everything in the, in the air at once. But it's talking to you guys, it does it. Right. I'm going to just pop the heat up on those a little bit more. And I am going to examine the soup. That base is exactly right. So now, I'm going to add the rest of the veggies, the roasted, beautiful roasted veggies, into that. You see, when you all go, no escapees. Last one. And I'm going to stir that about. Remember, I haven't made this before. So it's, I'm interested to see if it turns out how I imagined it. And it is. That's the exciting thing. It's a bit like, when I say soup, I think it's more like a, it's like a, a, 
It's like a stew, but it's not thick in the same way. There's much more liquid, so you would eat this with a spoon. Just put the rest of the chickpeas on in there. Now, if we were really fortunate and had some fresh herbs, coriander or mint, um, then I would be using them at this point. But I haven't. Um, and that's the end of it. I'm not, I'm not nipping down to the supermarket um, to get any. So we just do with what we've got, really. Um, the last thing, oh, the done, you see that bit of heat? Turn the oven off. Crisps. And anybody who watched me on Bake Off knows how much I like the crisp. Hot, hot. So they're done, and they're hot. And now, all that remains to be done, apart from eating it, is to ladle this tagine soup, which is going to be absolutely crazily good, even though I do say it myself, into here. Do you know what? This is fantastic. It is so beautiful. Obviously, if you wanted to blitz it all and have a smooth soup, then, you know, of course, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to see the texture and I wanted to see the chickpeas and all the gorgeous colours and everything. Um, and I wanted to serve it in this tagine as much as anything. Hey dear, it's doubling up as a, as a soup tureen, really, I think. And that's a couple of bits. Into there. Just going to turn off the power. Let's put this to one side so we can admire it in all its glory. Oh yeah, these. These. These, straight out of the oven, are starting to crisp up. Here we go. They're absolutely amazing. And what I wanted to do, you know how you have croutons on soup? I wanted to put some of these. Obviously they'll go soggy quite quickly. So if you were eating a portion of this, you would just sprinkle them on just before you serve. And for the sake of demonstration purposes, This is what you would do. And I would go a bit like that. See? It's crazy. It's gorgeous. So that's tagine soup. A first in my kitchen. I haven't tasted it yet. I don't need to taste it. I've been making this sort of throw it all in a pot meal pretty much all my life. Um, and I can see it and I know it's gonna be delicious. So with no, that's my lunch. Everything I'm making on these videos, I'm making for us to eat that day or the day after. We can't be doing with wasting food or making stuff just for, for, just for having it in the house. So this is my lunch and then um, it'll be my lunch tomorrow as well <laughs> and it's fantastic so I hope you enjoyed that and um, yeah here we are I'll just pop the lid there we go thanks for watching bye for now